finally back at the bus. So I'm so sorry about this two month gap I had. Long story short, I bought this caravan, this one. So I better show you, this is a 12 foot by six foot Otter 1970s. It's so basic. Here we go. So we've got a double bed going there. We've got a sink, I'm putting running water in. We've got two burners, we've got a fridge that works, everything works. And then we've got a little seating area down this end. And my little cupboard here, my clothes, pop top for the headroom, which is needed. And then loads of kitchen storage. With the idea of living in it while I built this. But that idea quickly changed and I thought, oh, I can make a bit of money here. So I thought, oh, I'll just quickly spend some time on it and do it up. Um, and that ended up taking two months. Um, and I had so much work on, work, the bus, and that I just couldn't be dealing with filming and I was just erratic and running around. So anyway, I finished the caravan. Here it is finished. There she is. Lovely. And then we go on the inside. There we go. Oh, look at that. We've got a nice new carpet, reupholstered seats, 18 mil birch ply that I replaced everywhere with, and same, put all this lovely skirting on down the bottom there. Replaced all the worktops, basically everything has just been redone. <laughs> Sink under there, all nice now. So we've got another worktop that goes like that. Yeah, and even I went to town, even like in these cupboards underneath, all nicely carpeted. Um, same with the birch worktops there, same in here, all very nicely done. So that's all come out quite nice. And I give myself nice little light switches here. So we've got LEDs, you've got strips of LEDs up there. Um, we've got a, uh, oh, sorry, I forgot to show you this when I open the, um, so that goes like that, that goes like that. And we move all this. So it's a pretty quality kitchen in here, you know? There you go, look at the size of that. And of course we've got hot and cold running water, which is brilliant as well. Um, so yeah, that's this end. And then again, we've got these beautiful compartments up the top here. And they've all been carpeted, everything else, the odd information. Um, uh, as for this, I've basically reupholstered this, sanded all this wood down, worked with the chrome and the leather, all these brass screws, everything was redone. Um, again, got a cool little light switch under here. Probably can't see it's really sunny today. But yeah, got a light strip up there, which is cool. Really nice. Again, all the cupboards. And every window has a custom fit um, blackout blind. So yeah, really went to town on it. And as I say, it, but it looks, but the finish has come up very nice. I'm very happy with it. Um, especially with the carpet, I got all the carpet second hand from a house I was working on and ripped it all out. Could not have done it without the help of my mum and Phil as well, they were huge helps in this. Um, it literally broke me, the time just it was taking the effort was a huge, un um, I underestimated it. I put it on eBay, I sold it, I made a bit of profit, not as much as I wanted to, um, but hey, there you go. But I'm back now, at filming wise, so let me show you what I've done. No, nope, I'm not going to do that. We're gonna have a little rewind first. Uh, I found loads of footage of me building the bus up to where it is now, so we'll watch that and then I'll do an overview of where the bus is at now. So yeah, let's go back in the past a little bit. Yo, 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 back at the bus. I don't know where I am in the video, I don't know what day it is in the video, I don't know if I signed off in the video, who knows, I'll probably just start in this at a random point, but it's just crazy. So, basically gonna carry on with the pallet wall. So I'm gonna carry on with this one, as I've got loads of timber, oh, runs with a thicknesser. So yeah, the idea is to carry it along that way and hopefully all the way around this pillar as well. So we'll start down there and head this way. So yeah, let's do it. Ah, uh, I might have accidentally thought I pressed record. I was gonna do an epic time lapse, but it doesn't look like it's on there. So anyway, and whoa! Yeah, that's really good progress, I think. I've done a whole wall along here, so that's really, it looks really good. I'll show you when, uh, you know, the light's not there. I had to have that light there, because I had to give another coat of varnish in the barrel. So I'm gonna epoxy that at the weekend. So, sorry about the lighting. It's a bit crap in here at the moment. I've got LEDs on the way. Well, they're not on the way at all, but uh, I'm thinking about getting them on the way. So, what's going in today? Um, I've done all this beautiful uh, pallet wall, which I'm really happy with. Um, so now I've got to go, keep on going, keep it going around the fridge here and there and on the side here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the fridge out, wire it in 
um, and then put it back and then I've got some a nice little scaffold boards to go on top here and I'm going to clap around there so that's basically my mission fucking losing it cabin fever okay I've just found my first leak luckily it's nowhere in here I was pretty sure of that but look at this in the oh in the driver's cab here I was pissing out there a second ago. Well, look, collecting me water down there. Look at it, that's a fair old drip, that. Anyway, and I thought, no, is it something up in there? And I thought, like, oh no, I'm gonna have to dig it all out. But then suddenly I opened the door. Watch out, happens when I open the door already. Okay. Oh! It's, the door seal is basically gone, so I'll put, probably put a bit of guttering outside the top here and put another seal there. So, but really good. It's an easy fix, I think, but um, like I found it, I would have found it anyway, but I haven't been out here. It's not in the rain much, this thing, but I did it. I checked this part when I first got the bus in the rain to make sure there was nothing and it was all good, but I never really looked out there. Okay, anyway, back to it. Um, I'll show you where I've got to. Here we go, I've got all the corner in there, which is really nice. And then started to bring it around the wall. I'm gonna take this off tomorrow, but put that one there instead. But anyway, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And then I came up with a worktop, which basically goes like this, in no particular order. One there, and then one of these, one-handed gypsy them and then this one uh, goes on the end uh, there you go oh focus yeah there you go it's three scaffold balls it's pretty neat I mean well you know it looks quite fan you know I quite like it all and then it goes around there and it's a nice little corner but I'm not sure I don't know cool so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna glue that bad boy down Heaviest thing I can find in the bus, literally. My tool bag! Go get that! Oh! That's crazy heavy, that thing. So, <laughs> yeah, I might make the other one, but that still is good for the moment. I'll sand it down and see how it looks. Um, right, until tomorrow. See you in the morning. And that morning happened to be two months later, and here's where I'm at now. And we're starting the bedroom, and we I finished all the cladding, and I've even, uh, you know, finished it with a, this Osmo sort of uh, satin finish. So, yeah, it's basically done everywhere. Um, and it's come out beautiful, obviously. And I've got an LED strip up the top here that I put in like uh, yesterday, here it is me putting it in. Anyway, and there's gonna be a bit of timber on the front there, and that's gonna be a wall. Oh, and I've got these as well. These are, these are great. I've got, on each side, I've got this tiny little, uh, like, USB. They're brilliant, they are, I think. So just up above the bed, can't even see. They've got two USB ports, and you've got one there as well. And then coming from the bedroom, I've built the toilet cubicle and put a door on. So there's all that, that's come out really good and it's it's come out the way like I wanted it to. So you've got the wall, the wood burning stove's going here and basically when you open the door, obviously I've made it the same size so it fits there. So it makes it one like big area. I did the barrel a few nights ago, um, I'll show you that now. Stir in the pot, wrong dog. Yeah. 
And then I got my toilet. Yeah, so, and it's all in a little cubicle and the LED strip up here again to illuminate the wall. So yeah, it's really coming along. I've got a lot of progress with this door, I feel like. My task the day is, now the I've got the barrel um, done, I'm gonna try and start getting some water to the shower and then think about bringing some taps up here. Just start running some water, I'm gonna run some water, then I can put the waste in and yes, yeah, things start cracking on. So basically, I'm gonna take the fridge out and try and run some pipes along. So yeah, welcome back and uh, let's get to it. Ooh, incense in the bus. I swear this always happens when I start doing plumbing. The just trash a place. It's just trash it. And then 10 minutes later, it just gets worse. I don't know how. <laughs> it's, just, it's a problem with a small space with very little surfaces. You know, I've heard this about bus life already. It gets messy very quickly. Anyway, um, what I'm doing, bought these plugs online, they're acclaimed, loads of these sockets. I think they look the nuts, and they're pennies as well, so like, you know. Pfft. Anyway, this is gonna go... Let me just, let me just, let me just do it, yeah. Where is everything? A really expensive boiler underneath. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Sorry, just missed all the chaos. Just putting the wires through. <laughs> so, yeah, these little jobs like that, that literally took an hour and a half maybe to get that in. And like, when you've got like a total of, I don't know, 24 hours over a week, you don't get very far. Anyway, there we go. I'm really happy with that. So I've got three there. And obviously, it's all off the inverter. And then I got two down there as well quite cool put them a bit different because you know how I am too awkward otherwise so yeah happy with that um, and now I'm gonna carry on as I said from the beginning was running the piping through to the bathroom Whew, well that plumbing pretty much took all day um, I'm trying to figure out basically just I'm trying to get running water in here so I've got hot and cold going to the kitchen sink here I've got hot and cold going to the shower and then I've got hot and cold going to the washer dryer over there um, and it comes from either the mains here or it comes from a water tank under here the which will be there later and it all goes from each of those sources also to a waste water tank so there's loads of pipes and it's quite a small little system so there's loads of pipes going everywhere there's loads of waste systems going there as well as the electrical so I'm just basically trying to get everything I'm trying to get it livable so I can use the toilet I can use a shower I can use the sink um, I need the gas to be able to make the hot water and the hot water for here and the washing machine likewise um, and obviously the cook so uh, the water is as much as important as the gas is as important as the electric is important so everything has got that priority basically and the reason I'm trying to get this just this part I'm sacking all this other stuff stuff off and the reason I'm trying to get all this done is because I'll go traveling again uh, at the beginning of October when I come back I'm um, coming back into this uh, got, so no I'm not going anywhere else I'm gonna come back and live in this straight away so I'm just trying to get water and then but as I say everything's got a priority so I'm gonna be flat out for a while so I've got videos up until November and then now I'm going to take a little break and I'm going to be making videos all through Southeast Asia. Um, got loads of countries I'm going to. So uh, yeah, but for the moment I'm going to smash the bus out. Um, so thanks for being patient and uh, I'll see you in the next video.